It is week seven, the final chapter, the final frontier, the conclusion. You have made it. You made it this far. Yay, yay, yay. All right? Hey, so I'm going to help you. I'm going to hold your hand, and we're going to get through this together. We're going to score some high grades, and we're going to be happy. Okay? You got it? Guys, this is um, Professor Kevin. Wanted to check in to say hello. I want to give you a few things as we conclude our time together. I want to say first, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to walk alongside you, be able to pray with you. Uh, many of you have just shared me some of your hearts, befriended me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for allowing me to be in your life. If I was a lot closer, I'd be inviting you to Starbucks all day long. And so I want you to know that um, uh, it's been a pleasure as I've gotten to know some of you via email, via Facebook. Uh, some of you have uh, had added me as a, as a discussion partner in the Blackboard. And so thank you. Okay? Um, all right. I want to tell you some final thoughts. Watch the intro video, which is right now. I'm going to cover these four items. Grades on Blackboard. So when I talk about grades on Blackboard, check your grades. It's towards the end of this class session. Everything is due on Sunday, this Sunday night. i got to turn grades in on Monday. And so you need to get that in. If you see a 1, a number 1, that means it's missing, it's incomplete, uh, something's going on. It ends up being a 0. So hurry up and respond and let me know how I can best help you. Do not do it on Sunday, 11.59 p.m. because I'll be like asleep okay um, finish all your assignments get them in hey some credit is better than no credit you know what I'm saying uh, I'd rather have 50% of a pie than no pie so let's do that uh, I want to talk about redoing assignment number four the interview I've had a lot of uh, I feel like the instructions might have been unclear I didn't create the class, but I want to make sure that everybody gets a fair shot. So I actually have this little thing, um, extra uh, tab here in week seven called Help for Redoing Assignment 4, the interview paper. Do you guys remember that? Um, so a lot, of, a lot of you guys are just all over the place, just to be honest with you. You're just, just throwing garbage on there, and I can't grade. It's hard to grade, and so I want to – I wrote this Word document, and uh, you go ahead and go ahead and click on that link, and that Word document says, hey – this is how I would do this cross-cultural interview uh, and strategy paper. I would have a section called Introduction. I'd have Part 1, um, Leader Approach to Organizational Life and Leadership. This is the interview, right? So you're, sum you're summarizing their thoughts. You're, you're pulling out their big topics. I don't need exact word for word. I just want to hear that. So here's your outline, and then there's a conclusion. Of course, I'm, I'm grading on grammar and spelling. Now this is a easier look. You can just take a look. It is actually off a rubric that is in there uh, in the assignment folder. But here's the summary. You can see this rubric. You can download it and you can see how you can earn excellent points to unsatisfactory points. Okay? You got it? Uh, just take a look at that. You will be good. And so basically I want to give you the entire class an opportunity to resubmit your papers to increase your scores. Everybody can do it. Now, if you feel like, man, I, I, I saw the Word doc, I saw the Google, uh, the, the PDF rubric, I'm all good, then you don't need to submit it. Life is good. I'll grade it. But I'm going to give you till the end of this week, and then I'm going to start grading that assignment. Is that cool? What do you think? Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Hey, you know, no, thank you for trying so hard. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, I want to give you one last word of encouragement. Uh, before that, make sure you go through all these assignments. There is one last assignment, five, and a discussion question number 10 that I want you to look and read over. All right. Word of encouragement. Uh, I want to tell you I'm wearing a baseball cap. I just did some baseball practice with my son today. Well, we had a game. And uh, this is where is my son. My He's a short little koi here. There you go, number three. And that's me. I'm a coach on the team. And, and uh, we played a game. And... I want to tell you something about Little League, and maybe this kind of gives you some encouragement on leadership, right? Well, in Little League Baseball, you can only score up to um, 10 runs an inning, all right? There's a 10-run running limit, a 10 run inning limit. For those who follow baseball, just want you to know that um, we keep score, but in Little League, you try not to keep score, but basically you do this so you don't blow out the entire team, all right? So some teams are just not that great. My son's in first grade, so, you know, it's just it's not good. But we love them for trying so hard. 
Well, um, a friend of mine, well, he had a baseball team, and he was uh, coaching his son. His son's a little bit older, and so they, they do pitch uh, baseball. And their team was going in the last inning, and they were up 11 runs. 11 runs. They had a 10-run limit, too. So his son, the coach, was his son was a pitcher, and he went up to the mound to pitch, and the scoreboard was up. Their team was up 11, so they just needed to get three more outs or let the team score 10 runs. It didn't matter. They were going to win anyways. You know what I'm saying? All right, good. Well, the pitcher goes up. His son goes up, and... And, you know, he's, he wants to try his hardest. Everybody's cheering. People in the dugout are cheering. The people in the fans, the parents, they're cheering. He, they already know they won the game. They're up 11, so just need to get three out. So he winds up, and he throws the pitch. Um, the batter hits it over. He gets a single. He's on the base. And uh, the pitcher is feeling like, oh, man. This sucks, man. He hit the ball. And so uh, he winds up and he pitches to the second batter, and he ends up throwing four balls, and the guy walks. So now you have runners on first and second. He's kicking the dirt. He's frustrated. You can just tell he's nervous. He's he's eager. He, wants, he doesn't want to let anybody down. And then uh, uh, coach says, time out, time out, time out. Let me go talk to him. He goes out on the mound, base uh, pitcher's mound, and he says, hey, you know, son, it's okay, man. We've already won the game. Look at the scoreboard. Scoreboard says, we're up by 11. They can't score that much. Just pitch as fast as you can. Heck, if you hit the, if, if they hit 20 hits, it's okay. They can't score enough to win the game. I mean, if you even hit the guy, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Just wind it, let it go, and just pitch your heart out. All right, the son's like, all right, Dad, I'm done. And he goes, look, 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 son, look, look. You see the, 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 the dugout, all your, your friends, your teammates? They're cheering for you, man. We're going to a pizza party after this. You see all the people in the stands? They're cheering for you. Now let it go. Let's do this. And then the son, I was like, all right, all right. You know, he's still frustrated. He's kicking the dirt. He didn't know what to do. So he he, he gets it back out there. And, he's, and then he just winds up and he starts throwing the ball. And he, he strikes out the next three batters. They win the game. They're excited. Yay. It didn't matter. They won the game. Hey, uh, this is what Christian leadership is all about. Guys, God is giving you a lot of skills and gifts, and he wants you to play the game. And guess what? The game has already won. Jesus Christ has already won the victory. And all what God is saying is, like, I just need you in the game, folks. I want you playing the game. I've already won the game for you, man. You can kick the dirt all you want. The scoreboard says, Jesus, victory. Uh, Satan, no victory. And so as you lead, as you begin to lead in your ministry or your vocation or whatever you're at, I want you to be encouraged that as you lead with Christian values, as you understand that Jesus Christ is the source of your wisdom and that he's got everything under control, you just need to play the game, throw that fastball as fast as you can. You can't ruin what God has already planned for your life. I hope you will remember that story. I hope you will be encouraged in your leadership. I look forward to catching up with you guys someday. Remember to friend me at some point in time. You will do well. I know you will do well. God bless. I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.